Hi. Um, I think this is probably the last preview of the calendar before we ship it, and um, I'm really excited about where this is at. And I'd like to take a couple of minutes and um, talk about some of our goals for this, and in particular, kind of why we're using uh, JavaScript in a web viewer to do this layout, and, and how that kind of fits with our goal of making something that's easy for people to modify. Because on the face of it, you know, you can't modify the JavaScript directly. Um, so I'd like to show you a few of the things that we can do because we're in JavaScript now, and then um, some of the hooks for letting folks modify this. Um, you know, the first thing, obviously, is you just, we just kind of have a very pretty interface here. And in particular, an interface that lets us do some of the things we haven't been able to do in regular FileMaker, which is like get events to overlap like this when they, um, let's just hide the sidebar, you know, when things take up, uh, take up the same amount of time. So if I move this event up, you know, you can see it kind of moves over, and then if I move it down. So things are, are very fluid, which I, I really like. Um, I think one of the other things is, you know, on the month view, we can either say, hey, I'd like to make each day of the month as long as possible, right? This isn't something you can do in FileMaker portals. Portals don't get bigger. Portal rows don't get bigger depending on the data inside them, but, you know, JavaScript uh, does. So we have the setting over here for what we call fluid months, which is this view here. And if we switch this to no, then it looks much more like a kind of traditional calendar with, you know, you can see the last day of the month in the view without scrolling. Um, let's move over to the next month here. Um, I think you'll also notice just kind of in that clicking back and forth, you know, this is very fast. And it's because while we're still finding records from your FileMaker database, and in some cases doing that over a PSOS, displaying them gets a lot quicker because the display engine here, you know, JavaScript is kind of optimized for, for grids like this. Um, you know, the other things we like, of course, obviously the drag and drop is really nice. And also just kind of the selectors and behaviors here. So, you know, if I want to pick a resource, I can do it there. Let's say I want to pick a contact. Um, I'm just going to type in SMI and tab. And you can see we're, you know, we have a fairly long list of contacts in the back end here. I'm not sure how many thousands of contacts, but we just kind of pick one. And so it gets kind of a nice uh, behavior here that we, we're not able to do in, in regular FileMaker. You know, kind of the animations, the overlays, just some of the things that we can do in JavaScript, I think, are, are, are really pretty here. Um, so that's kind of one of the reasons we came to JavaScript. The, the other reason is a little more subtle, and it's kind of around this account settings button. So if I click account settings over here, this is our, our trial. Um, we have 27 days left in our trial. And I, I think what's maybe not apparent right now is that while I'm in a trial version of this uh, application, you know, I haven't paid for Dayback yet. I'm just kind of checking it out. Um, the file is already unlocked. So we don't have a locked demo anymore. In fact, I can go into define fields and look at the sample events table for a, f a few of the calcs I might need to add to my database when I link this in. In fact, I can link this to my database and kind of show my records in here before I've even purchased it and then come back later and uh, purchase a copy um, once I know it's working. So what that means is that the, the license enforcement, the trial, all that stuff about you know, your account, that's in the JavaScript. It doesn't have to be in the FileMaker file. So we no longer need a locked demo and we don't even need a locked FileMaker file in order to you know, do licensing and stuff, which is, I think, a real benefit for developers. You can now get in here integrate this with your file, see how it works um, before you've purchased it, uh, which is great. The other thing that we can do in, uh, in JavaScript that we can't really do in FileMaker is code merge. So, you know, I'm running version 8.64 here, and if I click check for updates, I can see that there's a new update, um, version 8.7. Now, I, I may actually click this in this video. I'm not, Tanner has pushed up 8.7. I'm not sure what's here, but what, what happens when you click install update is we're going to bring down new JavaScript code. And JavaScript is the, you know, what's running this web viewer here, what creates these tabs. And we're going to replace that in line without you having to reintegrate the calendar with your file. So in previous versions of our calendar, when we came out with a new version, like you had the FileMaker 11 version, and we came out with the one for FileMaker 12, you had to reintegrate. And that you know, may have taken some time. Um, so now, not only is the integration a lot faster, but you don't have to reintegrate to get new versions. So you may notice that there's no Gantt chart up here. And we're really close on the Gantt chart, but it's not done. We'll be delivering that as an in-app update to folks once they've already integrated the calendar. Um, and that, in particular, is really exciting. So how do we do that? How do we deliver new code like that um, and not erase changes you may have made? Well, part of that is that some of the changes that you've made are just in regular FileMaker Pro scripts. You know, a lot of the settings and the defaults and what fields are you filtering on and everything. 
you're editing that in, in FileMaker, which is great. So that's not going to get changed when we bring down um, you know, new code. Some of the other things you've done, I'm going to switch out to the home screen here and go under the hood. Some of the other things you've done um, might be around translating the file. So in the calendar, you can see we have this word resource up here. Um, I'm going to head over to the under the hood layout, calendar developer, um, under the hood. And I'm going to grab this translations file and say, you know, I don't want it to say resources anymore. Um, I want it to say trucks, because I schedule trucks or doctors. Um, save changes and apply. And now in the calendar, it says trucks. So when we bring down new uh, JavaScript, we're not going to clobber your translations files either. We're also not going to clobber this, the, the CSS files that you're using to change the way the calendar looks. I'm going to activate this other theme here and show you that there's this whole kind of skinning uh, engine under the hood. And as developers, you know, you folks want to make the calendar look like their own file. And you'll do that. You'll click over here, and edit the CSS. You might search for, all right, well, what is the sidebar? I don't like that dark gray on the sidebar. Um, oh, cool. So here are our background colors. And I'll, I'll make changes to the CSS and maybe save that as the current theme or save it as a new theme. Um, but that also won't get overwritten when we bring down new code. So in theory, you know, we'll be able to deliver new features like the Gantt chart, like some other great stuff we have planned. And it'll just kind of fit in with this calendar that you've already integrated with your work. That's another reason to do this in JavaScript because we just don't have the ability to merge code like that. In FileMaker, I think we've done a really good job you know, in years past of delivering instructions to folks about, hey, if you want to add this feature, here's some scripts to import into your solution. And, which is cool, but it's, it's a lot of work, and I don't think it's what customers are expecting. I think customers expect when they you know, purchase or subscribe to a solution, they periodically get new cool features without having to do a lot of work for them. And um, that's what we really hope to do, uh, do here. I mean, you know, JavaScript gives us a lot of kind of cute things. I mean, I don't think this is just cute. I think it's useful to be able to just paste in an RGB color to, you know, if, if your color coding is based on corporate colors or something else, you know, just make it kind of easy to, uh, make pretty garish colors during a demo here. But, you know, I, I think JavaScript gives us some very cool things that are harder to do in FileMaker. But you know, the real reason we're doing this is that it lets us deliver changes to developers and create behaviors that, you know, we just weren't able to do previously. And uh, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to what this, uh, what this lets us do. Because um, it's a, a great way to make to schedule events in FileMaker, and it's a great platform for delivering new features uh, to our FileMaker customers. So um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. We're really close uh, to shipping a uh, new version of this calendar. You should be able to download a demo very soon and link it with your files, see if it's something you wanna uh, purchase or take advantage of. Um, I wanna give a little shout out to the demo team. Um, this is our largest uh, demo uh, beta. This is our largest beta seed code's ever run, almost 156 people. Um, beating on the calendar, integrating it with their files, um, checking it out in different, you know, different regions and different languages. Um, we're, we're really, uh, really fortunate to have uh, that many folks diving in here. So thanks to everybody who's pitched in so far. And I just realized I never uh, did our little update. So here we are, check for updates. And let's install a new update and see what that looks like. We have a little warning. And then we have, uh, we're downloading those files and merging them with uh, the CSS and the translations I may have already edited. And boom, our update was complete. And I don't think this update has any glaring changes that we can show, but thanks again for checking out this uh, preview.